gratitude. Yes. Thank you for coming. One day I was smart and funny and irreverent, and the next day I started eating Oreos, and I did not quit until I weighed 230 pounds. I was protecting myself in the only way I knew how. The hole that opened up in me because of rape has not gotten smaller. I have gotten bigger around it. Nice. I didn't know when I finally decided to talk about it that my story would become a feature film about something that was so difficult for me to talk about. But I discovered by writing my film, Jane, that I could find and follow what had saved me. It took me a long time to figure it out. But what I discovered was that my relationship to my creative inner life was what brought me home. My relationship with music and poetry. All of the artists here know the same thing. Art is a living trauma healer. Fire in the Heart is dedicated to the art form that saved our lives. What could reach me was the healing sounds coming from the hearts and souls of certain artists, sometimes wail, sometimes rejoiced. For me, it was the sound of spirituals sung by certain artists, Mahalia Jackson and Aaron Neville. For, for me, it was music and poetry and, and great films that were able to show me that there was a thread that I could hold on to that would lead me home. Inside this frozen, locked down world, I found out that art was a lifeline. That I was safe, I was not crazy or abandoned. There are a lot of our children that did not make it through this. In truth, I dedicate our whole program to them and to our conviction as a community of artists we will not stand down. We will stand until all of our children are safe. Keep on walking, keep on.